Good evening. It is Monday, March the 12th, and it is uh, 7 o'clock in the evening. Uh, today was a busy day back to work, not to mention, if you cannot tell, I am sick. So, I didn't go into the office, I worked from home, and uh, yeah, no outfit of the day, no face of the day, no nothing of the day, because I look basically like this, tracksuit doing work. Anyways, I just want to pop on real quick to start my weekly vlog. I am behind on editing and uploading my vlog, so I will be getting on that. Talk to you guys later. Good morning, guys. And those are my gym clothes. I actually went to the gym. And I just wanted to document that. I will be back later with my outfit workout for the day. Uh, outfit uh, oh, gym outfit of the day. My shoes are off, but uh, this is a Fabletics top. Uh, this one's Fabletics as well. And the high rise leggings from Fabletics. That is my gym outfit. Now to get ready for work. Hey guys, I am on for a very quick outfit and face of the day. And uh, my outfit is just my black Portofino with my favorite black dress pants. And uh, my makeup is uh, a little bit different. I do want to talk about my hair. I washed my hair just uh, this morning with the Smoothing Duo. And that's really what I used uh, majority of my vacation was the Smoothing Duo. I did not put any blow, uh, blow dry cream or um, Rejuva beads on my end. Literally, it's just the uh, Smoothing Duo. And then I put the tiniest amount of the Rejuvenique oil uh, through the ends of my hair. And that's it uh, with my hair. And I am super happy with the way that it's looking. My makeup is a little bit different. I use the Clay Play from Tarte, uh, which I hadn't used in a while, but I did use it. I actually brought it with me on vacation and I used it. And I do, of course, have the Amorese highlight on my lid, on my highlight. I love that. I missed it so much. I didn't bring it on vacation. Um, my face, I use the Amorese highlight, which I got a backup of because it's limited edition and I absolutely love it. Um, and I regretted not bringing it on vacation. It's beautiful. Um, on my cheeks is the um, Kat Von D Contour Palette. Um, I also use a little bit of uh, Desert, which is the center one from the Clay Play, um, as well as I tried to use Too Faced Baby Love, and I was right. Um, my skin is just a little too dark for it now, uh, so I have on my Tarte Exposed Beloved. It went on vacation with me. It's amazing, and I have a little bit of Sweets for My Sweet over top, and then on my lips is the... Rimmel Lip Liner in Addiction and um, the Naked Lipstick from Urban Decay. And that is my face of the day. I am filming right now on my uh, Olympus that I brought with me on vacation. And I'm actually gonna bring it with me to work uh, because my Canon camera is, you know, I, I spent a bit extra on it. Um, and obviously I just, I have more concerns with it. It's more bulky too to bring around. I'm looking for my boots uh, so that I can put them on and get the, out the door. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys with me and film a little bit of work if I can. Bye. So I brought my camera to work yesterday and did not film a single thing because it was busy. Not very shocking that it was, but uh, anyways, I wanted to pop on this morning. It is Wednesday, March the 14th, and just do a very quick outfit of the day. I have on a sweater dress because I realized that it is getting warmer, or hopefully will be getting warmer. Not today, it's snowing, but eventually by the end of March it should be warmer and that means I will no longer be able to wear my sweater dresses so nice comfy cozy on my eyes I have a mixture of the clay play along with soft glam palette um, and then on my cheeks is the Kat Von D shade and light as well as a little bit of the clay play and then in addition to that on my cheeks I did use something different I used the Tarte Blush Bazaar and I can't remember like pinky plummy shades around my cheeks. Lips is uh, NARS Rose Cliff. And uh, that is pretty much my face of the day. 
I am off to the office. Hey guys, I wanted to pop on quickly and talk about how sore I am. Uh, how sore my muscles are. Uh, I probably wasn't consistently um, going to the gym for three to four weeks, which is quite a while for me. So my two days back, um, I did yesterday, I did chest, shoulders, and triceps, and my triceps today are on fire. And then today I did back and biceps, and I've also been doing with it as well uh, 20 minutes on the step mill, which is basically the escalator backwards. Uh, so my legs are sore as well too. But um, tomorrow is leg day, and then I will rest for a few days before I get back into action. Um, but yeah, I'm still feeling sluggish. Like, my blood sugar's been in the 8s and the 9s today. Um, and uh, I put it back on my sick basal program because uh, obviously, even though I feel better, like, I feel better than I did earlier in the week. Like, Monday, I was, oh my god, in such agony. Um, and then yesterday, I actually felt really good. Um, and now today, I'm just like, I don't know if it's a combo of the working out or what, but I am so sluggish, um, and I'm about to uh, put on a little music, post-lunch music, uh, and try to get myself amped back up. Um, hoping once my blood sugar gets closer to the like six, seven range, I feel more energized again. Because right now, oh my God, struggle is so real. And I got a good night's sleep last night. Like I, I was, I went to bed specifically at ten o'clock, and I think I fell asleep like pretty quickly within 20 minutes so and I woke up uh, right before six so that's pretty like that's seven hours sleep which is good for me like seven I'm good on seven hours sleep so I should not feel this tired and sluggish at least not due to lack of sleep but anyways I am going to find some music to put on good morning guys it is uh, March the 15th, uh, Thursday, March the 15th, and I went to the gym again. I'm a little bit sweaty, um, and uh, this is three days in a row. I haven't gone to the gym like that in some time, um, and I am feeling a little frustrated with myself right now. Um, I haven't stepped on a scale in three weeks, and uh, I'll be fully honest, I also wasn't tracking with my Weight Watchers app for at least two weeks. So I knew I was going to gain weight, um, and uh, yeah, so I gained six pounds, which I'm super not happy about, um, but today is a fresh start, and I uh, tracked my cream that I had in my coffee this morning and I went to the gym and I'm getting back on track and that's all that matters at the end of the day is uh, you pick yourself up and you dust yourself off and you try again and that's what I'm doing so no surprise I have on my normal work uniform my Portofino top from Express uh, black dress pants are on. Uh, face of the day is actually uh, kind of, again, a little bit different. So uh, what I did on the eyes, again, was the Clay Play palette from Tarte. Um, and then I also included on my eyelids is Forever Young um, from the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight palette that came out a little while ago. On uh, my cheeks is, of course, I have a little bit of the Desert from the Clay Play as well as a mixture of the Kat Von D uh, shade and light on uh, the back of my cheeks as well, kind of bronzing up. And uh, I have the Blush Bazaar again on from Tarte on there as my blush kind of mixed a couple of them together. And that's my highlight as well. And then my lips are just uh, the Naked 
um, lip gloss pencil thing that I have from Urban Decay. And that is my outfit. I am uh, rushing out the door. Good morning, guys. It is a Friday, March the 16th. One day before St. Patrick's Day, I'm very excited. Uh, I am dressed up because I am going to a customer's. Um, so I have on, of course, a Portofino shirt from Express, black dress pants, no surprise. My makeup, I did uh, use something not really different. Uh, I mean, yes it is, but uh, it's something uh, that I am very much uh, enjoying. I used the Modern Renaissance palette um, today, and I really honestly wasn't sure what I was going to wear this morning. I wanted to wear my gray sweater dress, but my legs are so sore, and if I wear the sweater dress, I wanted to wear heels, like heeled boots, and it's just like I'm not walking in that. I just, I'm too sore. Um, so I didn't know exactly what I was going to wear, and I knew there could be a change. So uh, I wanted to put on makeup that I felt like was neutral. Because usually when I dress, if I wear gray, then I um, go towards more cool tone makeup. And if I wear like uh, something with warm tones, then I wear more warm tone makeup. So traditionally I would wear like warm tones with this, uh, but now it's kind of a, a very neutralish mix, which I really am enjoying. So uh, from the modern renaissance, I can't remember using the warm taupe, or at least not loving it the way that I love it today. It looks fantastic. So a uh, warm taupe is in the crease. Um, I also used a, a bono fresco, I think is how you pronounce it, um, which I had, I'm pretty much positive I had not used that before. Um, and people were comparing Dusty Rose in Soft Glam to Bonafesco. I do not uh, think they are, they are similar in tone, but Dusty Rose is much darker and more pigmented, in my opinion at least. Um, so uh, that is what is on uh, my eyes. Uh, tempura is actually, of course, my highlight. Um, and then on the lids is uh, Vilmir, I believe it is. And then inner corner, of course, is the Amorese highlight uh, from Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I am clearly loving. Um, and then on my cheeks, um, I do have a mix of uh, the Clay Play with the Kat Von D palette. The reason I'm doing that is because when I brought the clay play on vacation, the contouring and bronzing colors are, they're crazy pigmented. Um, and I'm actually trying to think of maybe another brush to buy to help use those because um, you like need the slightest amount of it. So uh, right now I'm doing a mixture and even some of the shades in the Kat Von D, it's not that they're like ridiculously pigmented. Some of the shades in the Kat Von D are obviously too dark for me. They're, well, there's one shade that's really dark, um, but what I've been doing is taking my fan brush and just going through everything, even the light shades, which is good because the lighter shades I really hadn't been using that much. Sometimes I would use uh, as a brow bone highlight or a, a transition color, but um, other than that, I really wasn't using it that much. So yes, that is on my cheeks, long explanation. Of course, um, I do have on my Tarte Exposed blush, and over top of it, I put on a NARS Deep Throat. And then something else that is, like I haven't kind of done this combo where I feel like, like I've mentioned before, it's like a warm, it's not warm, it's a neutral, a more neutral, like, and a little bit more mixing of coolish neutrals together. So, I, I kind of like that coolish, warmish, whatever. Anyways, so, <laughs> on my lips is uh, NARS uh, Rose Clef. And I would not have thought to put it with this combination, but I really actually am enjoying it. So that is my very long rambly face of the day for Friday. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday, March 17th. Happy St. Patty's Day. So I am, it's about nine o'clock, and I am just having a bit of a lay-in. Uh, just made some coffee, and uh, yeah, I've been watching YouTube videos, trying to get inspired for what I am going to do for my St. Patty's Day eye makeup. Uh, but yeah, it's been a 
lazy hour and a half. I do have things that I need to do before I actually head over to my friends for St. Patty's. Um, just, I need to tidy up around here, recycling, uh, clean Mikey's litter bin, and just so it's, like, not a disaster when I come home from Jason's on Sunday. I just basically have a, a, a not too much to do uh, for the week ahead then. Uh, as you can see, I uh, painted my um, nails and this is uh, Essie's Mojito Madness. Happy St. Patty's Day. I am back and I have a face and outfit of the day. So this is actually a sleeping shirt that I wear. Uh, it says Shamrock Rock Out um, and I have it tucked in so it looks somewhat more presentable. So on my cheeks is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette along with um, my Tarte uh, Exposed Blush as well as I have Rockateur over top of it. And of course I have the Amritzi Highlighter on as well too. And that's the highlighter in my inner corner as well. So on my face is it's a um, huge mishmash actually. So it is um, the Clay Play Palette it is Subculture Palette. Um, it is uh, Morphe, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette. I also have one shade from each uh, from the uh, Soft Glam Palette as well as Modern Renaissance. And then uh, what I consider the star of the show is from Urban Decay. Uh, it is from the Heavy Medit Palette. It is the shade called Mullet. Um, and then I also have uh, the shade uh, I don't know if you can see it on the bottom lash line. I have a gold shade in there uh, from the same palette. It is, let me look here. So the gold shade from the Urban Decay palette that's underneath uh, that you can see there is called Glory. And then I just have the Amorite highlighter on the inner part and it's all smoked out. Um, and then on my lips, uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, it is Urban Decay Naked. That is my face and outfit of the day. I am heading out. Talk to you guys later. Not sure if I'm going to vlog much. Good afternoon. It is a Sunday, March the 18th, and I am definitely hungover, but not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So that's great. Um, I, yeah, St. Patty's was good. I didn't film much of anything. Uh, but yeah, I had a good time uh, catching up with my friends. And then my sweet darling boyfriend came and picked me up and uh, took care of me and uh, actually just uh, dropped me off back at home because I slept over at his place and I am just watching Meet the Press right now or was watching it and uh, I'm just going to chill out. I haven't. Two weeks in a row I didn't sign off uh, on my vlog so I will do that right now. Thank you so much for tuning in. If uh, you liked my video, give it a thumbs up. If uh, you want to see more and you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to get alerted whenever I upload videos. Thanks guys and hope you're having a great day.